so let let us see what are the phases of model based design technique so there are four different phases what i see that is mil that is model in loop you have sil software in loop pil processor in loop and then you have hil hardware in loop let us see what are these what is mil so mil stand for model in loop i will take a case study and some examples i will explain you what is this model in loop so model in loop here i have a plant model that is engine and i have a controller ecu okay so i am going to model this engine behavior in the simulink or any other simulation software at the same time i am going to model the controller behavior okay so in the software simulation software i am going to model this and put them together so this becomes my model in loop i test it and validate it okay so this is what is model in loop so i have a plant model as well as a controller model i put them in a loop that becomes my model in loop okay then we have software in loop okay here i have a plant model again and i have a controller model i have a controller so the engine is my plant model so i am going to mo uh, model that in the simulation software okay so that is my model and then i also model the controller in the simulink or any other simulation software and then i generate a c file out of it and then i put them together in a loop that becomes my software in loop here the engine is modeled in a simulation software and i get the model so all the engine behavior is modeled and then i model the controller okay and then generate a c file out of it and put that c file in loop with the uh, engine model so this becomes my software in loop so now i have the next is processor in loop so i am going to model the engine in the simulation software and then i will also model the controller okay again in the simulation software so i have engine model okay and i have a c file and i generate a hex file out of it uh, or a binary file out of it and dump it to the target hardware so here the engine model will be running in the desktop machine or the host machine whereas the the binary file will be running on the actual hardware and i put them together in a loop where you can send the data to the target hardware and then you can also receive a feedback from the hardware so this loop we call it as a processor in loop here we are going to have a actual hardware here but the plant model is running in the host so this is what is processor in loop so next up we have a child hardware in the loop okay so here i have a prototype of the plant model it may be a actual plant model or it could be a prototype of a plant model okay but here i have a controller so i model the controller behavior in the simulation software and then i generate a c file out of it and then i convert it to the binary file okay and dump it to the target hardware so the the, uh, the, the hex file or the bin file will be running on the real hardware a controller uh, model okay so the controller will be running in the the target hardware okay so this is the engine it could be a prototype of a engine or it could be a real engine i connect them together in a loop that becomes my hil hardware in the loop so mil sil pil hil are widely used in automotive industry so these are a very very important portions in the interview okay so, okay so what are the tools and technologies uh, used in mbd so here are the list of tools which are used for uh, mbd techniques simulink ni multi sim uh, octave so there are n number of tools so these are the some of the tools which are used in the model based design technique so thank you so much for watching this video i hope this will help you
in your interviews. Thank you so much.